My name is Emma Constantine, I'm 21 years old. I was born in London and left home at 19 to study at Loughborough University. When I finished school, I was torn between studying English or the arts. Throughout school, I achieved top grades. My parents both studied maths and my grandma was a doctor, so I felt the pressure to also follow a more academic path. But I was also aware that I was artistic. So after school, I took a diploma in art to discover more about it and to determine if it was for me. Within the first week, I fell in love with it. The teaching was much more experimental than at school. On a field trip to the south coast, we worked outside with our paints and pencils, making art from the ground and anything we could find. The environment of wind and rain and sitting in dirt changed my attitude to art making, as it loosened me up and caused me to be much more experimental and not afraid to make mistakes. It was a lot more free and exciting than what I'd experienced at school. So at university I'm studying fine art and continue to work in this way of experimenting and risk taking. I'm interested in how art filters through life and so I did a project that would affect the way I live. I find art much more exciting when it's alive and so I wanted to choose my body, putting it at risk and challenging my physicality. Wanting to test my physical limits, I walked barefoot everywhere I went. It lasted for 25 days and I recorded the journey through film and keeping a blog. I enjoyed feeling the texture of the ground and felt connected to the earth in such a way that I felt at home everywhere since there was no barrier between me and the earth so it's like I belonged to it. People often stared at me and I felt vulnerable to their judgement and what they might think of me. This escalated into me getting quite depressed as I was constantly aware of myself and got tired of friends asking how my feet were, never how I was doing. It was like my feet had become my whole identity. This Barefoot project also raised issues about culture, how we live and why we live. Questioning why we wear shoes and what happens when someone lives differently and how they are perceived by society. I wanted to challenge people's perceptions of what art could be and also it opened up a whole new field of art practice for me as well. Being interested in culture and life, naturally I wanted to go on exchange and I chose Australia because I wanted to, dis to discover this laid back easygoing life that it's known for. It's something that I think Britain needs to grab a hold of. The cultural differences will inform the art I make as I learn more about how to live life, to understand people, how they operate and how we relate to one another. I wish to make art that reflects and also challenges culture in a radical way, because art's not only visual but can also be about taste and touch, interaction and about people coming together and creating community.